It's great to get the applause first. <laughs> I often think that as we as we become more interior, as we develop as as people, and this whole in, all, over my lifetime, uh, this has been an enormous development. Uh, when I was young, I was quite weird. <laughs> and now I'm somewhat less weird. <laughs> and all this futzing with the instruments reminds me, the more complicated the automobile gets, the more trouble you can get into. So the more developed you are as a person, the more sophisticated trouble you can have. <laughs> that, that puzzles people still, because we all learn that there's some one single scale of maturity or something. There isn't. I don't think. So as you develop, you hit new things. So my definition of health is new problems. <laughs> One advantage in focusing is a person goes in deep where everything is, and you can't ever say everything anyway. So when you come up here, you can say just as much as you want to say. It is, don't say anything you wouldn't want to say this whole crowd. On the other hand, you're welcome to say all of it, any of it, talk for a while. Am I clear? It's one of the advantages. You can do focusing with somebody who would take three years to develop trust and all that. Uh, they don't have to tell you these things. Uh, in, in, and I was in Hamburg at a big thing. I had 4,000 people and uh, uh, some woman came up and I told her this. And uh, later in the, in the uh, magazine that came out a year later, I got all this credit because I was the only one at that conference who didn't exploit people who came up. I told her she didn't have to say what the problem was. Well, we always do that in, in, in focusing, right? First of all, finding where to go in is the most difficult part, at least in the beginning. Yeah. Everybody has this thing, but we don't go in there. It's not your feelings, and it's not any category that you can recognize. Uh, the best I can do is say my way. When I get up in the morning, I usually sit for a while and, and do something that would certainly look like focusing if you were watching. I'm just sitting there, and I'm taking what's there and all that. Uh, and uh, then I realize that, well, I haven't focused yet. I've taken all these feelings that came, and I've taken what sort of came during the night and what's there in the morning, and I remembered where I was yesterday, and I tried out uh, whether my fixing from yesterday still works, and maybe it does, and all that, and then, then something says, well, you haven't focused it. I say, oh, yeah, right. Now, what's the point? Well, what I do then is I say to myself, okay, there's all of that stuff, yes. There are all these feelings, yes. There's all these needs and things and whatnot, yes, but, but, and then I have three, four different ways of saying it, but, oh, you know, it's what I really would say verbally, but, oh, and what I mean by that is, but are you okay? And then usually something here says, no. <laughs> or I may put it more like, are you ready to be joyous? I would like to be joyous. In that tradition, you're commanded to be joyous. <laughs> well, what they mean by that is that it, it mustn't depend on how well things are going, because things are never going that well for human beings. So if you're going to wait till that to be joyous, you, you'll never be joyous. So, so you have to put your stuff down, and then you have to be joyous. So I go in and I say, can you be joyous? And almost always it says, meh. <laughs> or another way I have of finding this place Especially, I, ha I use this when I'm not in good shape, when I'm anxious and, uh, you know, I'm really feeling bad and nothing I thought, at least anything, you know. I say to myself, yes, yes, we know all that, but are you comfortable? And this is like a, an ironic joke because, of course, I know I'm not comfortable. But the question, are you comfortable, takes me down under all that stuff. It's like, yeah, I know I'm scared, and yeah, I know I'm worried, and yeah, I know I'm ashamed, and yeah, I know I'm upset, and yeah, I know I feel guilty, and I don't know all what, but am I comfortable? If you can see, if you can try that out, you'll see it takes you down to the discomfort of the whole thing rather than any part of it. It's like, 
And those all mean the same thing. Are you comfortable? Are you okay? Are you ready to be joyous? Uh, and there is al almost always a room. Uh, this joke. Once a year you find, yes, you're ready to be, then just go. Go be joyous. <laughs> All the rest of the time, that's where you have to go in. Everybody has this place that we're talking about because it's this sense of you know what you're doing, sort of. It's like if I were to say, why did you come, you would tell me all this stuff, you know, but you know why you came. Uh, if I said, do, do you know where you are, you might, if you just arrived, you might say, wait a minute, oh yeah, I'm in New York, uh, or something. Uh, if you lost your body sense, because now you know, you verbally, you've got my words in your head. You're listening to my words, so the verbal part is me. But you're still there, aren't you? Well, that you, that knows all about that knows what you're going to do later today, it knows where you came from, it knows your whole past, it knows everything all together. And if you lost that, it, you would feel very upset. You would, you would have amnesia, you wouldn't know who you were, or why you were here, or what's going on, or anything. So everybody has that body sense of, 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 of being, them, of being, but not them in a the sense of I am a philosopher, by the way, I'm a philosopher. Uh, <laughs> I'm a psychologist on Thursdays and Fridays. <laughs> the place where you go in, everybody has. Okay, so now I'd like a few questions from you, and have I got time enough to do that? Yes, I do.